Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It's already Thursday. I'm here with Casey, C A, no, K A C E Y, for those of you who have been wondering. And I'm definitely concerned about him. Remember when we got him, I said that he's having trouble with his leg and that we're just gonna keep him long enough to make sure that he's healed up and he can get away from predators? Well, um, he's definitely not acting like a regular baby squirrel. He uh, literally just stays in the bottom of the cage. He eats his food here and drinks his water, but he does not climb up there. He does not climb around and he hardly even moves in there. So I definitely think something's not right with him. He's a little pushy when I try to give him a fruit, he like grabs it out of my hand, just like a crazy man. But you know what, I feel like everybody just wants to push me. Do you think that? Last night when we were walking the horses and I was walking the one that had been in stall rest and so she was really like anxious and excited to be out, Sophia came up to me and was having so, was having so much trouble with her and Sophia, who just turned eight, came up and said, oh, I'm so sorry, I give you the hard horse. Do you wanna trade? And of course, I said, yes, please trade with me, <laughs> right? And so and I handled with that baby. Yeah, and she just said, one walking on with Sophia, and I was like, how is that possible? And then later when Sophia wasn't there and I was in charge of her again, I like tried to be forcefully like in control, and she still walked all over me, tried to push me around. Did you hit up? No, I didn't hit her. Because if did, horses are being bad, then you should hit them. Did you hit her? No. No, we are not hitting. We are not hitting her. I yanked on the lid rope. Yeah, I yanked on her lead rope a little too, and she still was like, you better not do that again. The more I said, I'm the boss of you, the more she said, oh no, you're not. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are still waiting to hear about Sabrina, I don't know if that's bad or whatever. I know Fiona has a lot of chores when she gets to the barn first thing in the morning, or uh, I don't know, my imagination's just running wild and I feel like maybe she's not messaging me yet because she doesn't want to alert me that there's more of an issue. I don't know. Maybe she's not messaging me because there's still no poop and she knows I'll worry. This morning, just before I woke up, I dreamed that I was in quicksand. I was stuck in quicksand and I said to Sam, help, help me, I'm drowning. And when I woke up, I just felt so overwhelmed. I feel like I'm drowning. I feel like everything is breaking. We have a broken squirrel. We have a broken horse. You better not break. Better not break, Toby. I mean it. You too, Macy. You're the old girl in the group. You better not break. Toby's like, break? What is that? You see him shaking? Anyway, uh, Tuesday, no, Thursdays are one of the days that we can't go to the um, barn because we have other prior commitments that we can't break, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and go anyway. As soon as Sam gets home, we're gonna try and race to the barn and have a visit with her and see how things are going and, um, just check for ourselves to make sure she's okay. I, I don't even know if she's okay, you guys. I don't even know. Do you, oh. What do you think, Sophie? Do you think she's okay? Mm-hmm. But what? time for Toby's checkup. Time for Toby's checkup. She, she has a broken leg. He has a, oh, a broken leg? You better not have a broken leg. He does. No way. Come here. Come on. Toby, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, Toby. What, what are you doing? Okay. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. He comes to me because he knows. So this is the one last issue that we have with Toby. A couple of nights ago, he literally was in my bed, all cuddled up with me, rolled over on his back, and gave me his belly to rub. That has never happened before. We've had him for well over a year, um, a year and a half at least, and he has never shown me his belly in a form of submissiveness and let me rub his belly before, ever. And so he's coming along so well, but the very last thing is that we're not able to train him because he really resists, he will not come. The only way he will come is if I get down on his level and sit there and call him to me then, and it still takes a while. And yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I should just be able to get down on my knees and my hands every single time I want him to come, but it's harder than you think, you guys. Especially when we're on our way out and he's just gone out to pee and I need to put him in his, in his crate, then 
it's hard when I have to go over there and chase them and it's like 10 times a day or 20 times a day. I just want one last thing, Toby. I just want one last thing. I just want you to do one last thing. You're doing so good though. Oh, I like the, that one. Hey, Frosty the Snowman. That's pretty. Um, I have to, like two Frosty the Snowman. This one and the one on SSO. It's my white Morgan. SSO I, has Frosty the Snowman? Yeah, and I named her Frost Torch and her nickname is Frosty the Snowman. That's cool and that is for sure Frosty the Snowman. for the movie, um, Little Women, the book that we're reading right now, because I feel like after we're done the book, the movie would be an awesome thing to watch. A super quick salad for us for supper, and then we are headed to the barn. I had to wait for Sam to get home. I have been dying to see her. Are you dying to salad. see her? You don't have to have salad. You can yeah. have something else. We also have chicken wings. Mmm. They look yummy. All right, you guys, we're just having a little break while everyone goes to the bathroom. Cause I got a math question for the girls. Okay, here's the math question. You ready? It's really easy. There's 30 cows in the field. I know this one. Okay. I'm 28 done. chickens. I'm done. I already heard it like 5,000 times. Okay. Here's the question. There's 30 cows in the field. Okay, I'll ask Laura and you. Okay, your mom and you. There's 30 cows in the field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? 30 cows in the field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? 12. 30. 30 cows in the field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? 28. What? How many 28. Cows are, are you serious? Yeah. It's basic math for crying out loud. It's basic math. Zero. There's 30 Wait, cows in a no. field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? What didn't what? 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? Zero. Zero? I'm zero. All right, I'll slow it down for you. There's 30 oh. cows in a field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? I don't care. How many didn't you? And you said like how many didn't? How many didn't? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go down even slower. I have an answer for you. There's 30 cows in a field. 20 ate chicken. How <laughs> many didn't? Oh, okay. How many? <laughs> how many? There's 30 cows in a field. 10. 20 ate chicken. How many didn't? 10. Okay. All right, I got another one for Wait, you. Wait, it's 10, right? Yeah, 10 is right. Yeah, okay, but you just let us, because you didn't say 28 chicken. <laughs> you said 28 chicken. Big That's difference. Right. Big There's difference. no difference. 20 There's cows difference. ate chicken. How All right. There were 30 Here's another one for you. Okay, if you were born five years ago, how old would you be now? Oh, oh, five. It would be five. Right. You were born five years ago. It's How a old trick. did you be? I know it. If you were born five years ago, how old would you be now? Oh, uh, I like, would be forty-two. I would be five. I'd be five. You guys are right. Because if you were born <laughs> five years ago, you'd be no, five. No, I'm ten. <laughs> so like my terrible. Five. Oh, I, I, oh, because you're ten, I messed up. But yeah. it's only, if you were born five years ago, how old would you be now? Five. Oh well that's what we were gonna say, but then you made it sound like we were gonna be wrong, so we tried to <laughs> outsmart you. Hey, try those at home. Try them on people, that's funny. So, um, we're almost to the barn, and I wanted to say, even though it's been such a crazy whirlwind of the last couple of days, and we were totally not expecting this, as soon as our, as soon as our trial, two week trial was over, that's when this happened. We totally were not expecting that, but honestly, we want to learn as much as we can with Sabrina and eventually have our own farm and 
what better way for us to learn one how expensive a horse really is and two all the things that we need to be aware of and to look for like we are becoming experts on colic now and um we can do it ourselves no not yet but Just honestly <laughs> but honestly like we've learned so much in the last two days and i'm super thankful for that but i'm also super thankful it's as soon as I posted on Instagram last night that we were or yesterday that we were having trouble with Sabrina, so many people reached out to us. I was getting hundreds and hundreds of messages last night from so many people wishing us well, praying for Sabrina, giving us information and helping us. And I am overwhelmed with the love and support that you guys are are giving us and all the friendships that we've made on YouTube. I, I just cannot even believe how supportive and amazing you guys are. And I am so super thankful for that. You have no idea. I know everybody talks like that, but from the bottom of my heart, I am so, so super thankful for you guys. Yesterday when we were here, I walked this walk all the way down to the barn <laughs> eight times. I walked so many times, you guys. Eight? eight times I did it in one day. I don't know why I'm not skinny. Ha. But I do notice my muscles are getting stronger. Today, <laughs> we're just gonna get our girl and love her a little, take her for a walk up to the barn, groom her, and then bring her back down and see how she's feeling. Because we gotta see for ourselves how she feels, right? We gotta, we gotta make sure she's okay. And we want her to know that we care about her and that we love her and that we're always gonna be here even when she's not feeling good, right? My two favorite horses in the whole world. Yes, you. How are you feeling? She has such big ears. Isn't she big ears? Big ears, but we like big ears. We like big eared horses. Ziggy. Oh, her nickname is Stubborn. Stubborn? <laughs> What's his name? Nickname? Cow. 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 Look at your hair, Ziggy. Oh, cow. You look like you have a mohawk. What? <laughs> He's rubbing it on the fence or something. Look at Sabrina still looks oh, sick yeah. to me. She's lost so much weight. Look at her eyes. I don't know. She's a sad looking horse. Oh, look, she's so happy to have you back. See, she looks- Mommy, can you please move Ziggy's side? Aw, that's not like her. Hi. Ziggy. Hi. Yeah, she's sniffing my pocket. She's like, me. Yeah, she's probably like, I, they hardly gave me any food last night. Did you have like, did you make a mess in your stall? I betcha. Fiona said she's not a super clean horse. I think Ziggy looks good in that green color. He doesn't want to go. Ziggy. Can you get me? Hey, you kind of match Ziggy. Help! Help! Do not eat me! She just stands there. Be careful and be gentle with her. She looks still sick. Have you been drinking? Maybe. That's not bad. I hate it in the winter. I know, winter is hard. Well, there's our stubborn mare. It's amazing that you're not scared, this little tiny girl with this big giant horse. <laughs> She's my big giant horse. Yeah, she is. You can reach up there. Not even with my tippy toes. Such a lovey. Such a lovey girl. Mm -hmm. Look, her poop with all that oil is not very soft, huh? She the didn't water. drink any water last night. Put your finger in there. Is it frozen in the top? No. I realized that, that I did not give you guys an update. So I talked to Fiona this morning and basically as she said that she went to the bathroom 
four or five times. So anyways, she went to the bathroom and she's in good spirits. She's not lethargic like she was yesterday. She did not drink at all. Fiona has a plan for that and what she's gonna do is cut up a bunch of apples and put it in her bucket. Fiona was planning to leave her in her stall so she could monitor her and um, after everybody had breakfast, Sabrina did not have breakfast, after everybody had breakfast, um, she was tearing the barn down trying to get out to be with the other horses so um fiona really didn't have much choice but to put her out so really there's been no monitoring of what she drinks because it's just an awkward situation and so we're going to try this tonight and if she bobs for apples and ends up drinking half of her bucket then at least we'll be happy but basically it's not over till it's over because she's still not drinking so there's an issue about why she's not drinking we don't know what it is so please keep her in your thoughts because we're not any closer to what the problem is all right you guys do you want to see our nighttime routine our nighttime routine is usually him sitting here editing gabby on my computer playing star stables sophie on this other computer that we set up can i show you something on um a playing star stable does it feel comfortable to sit on the stairs or would you rather have a chair You'd rather sit on the stairs so she's got her star stable going watch this this is the new update okay this is the new update you guys for all you star stable fans here's the new update gabby has pink hair now wild horse Wild horse, whoa. Yeah, look, I found a wild horse. Ah! Oh, no. Crash. And these are all wild horses here. That is cool. And to clarify, yes, the girls are going to camp tomorrow. I'm super excited because I'm going to have the day all to myself. It's her birthday! And it's my birthday! She's opening my present first because I really want it. She's so excited about the present that she got for me, but I miss them when they're not here for my birthday. Like, I don't, if for my birthday, I'd rather it's all be together and have the day off and, and I just spend the day so together, cool. but um, they want to go. So basically our um, a barn on PA days, days where the kids don't have school, she will throw an activity day and they all go there, spend the whole day, they take care of horses, they ride, and it's just the best thing and my kids would not Should miss it for the world. So uh, Gabby's gonna get to ride Sabrina if she drinks tonight. So hopefully all those apples in her bucket, she's gonna bob for apples and hopefully drink the whole bucket. I'm a wild if she's smart, friend. if she's really smart, she'll knock the bucket to the ground and then just eat the apples and not have to drink the water. But who Wait, knows what's gonna happen. I'm a wild halflinger. Gabby's a wild halflinger. Okay, so a comment of the day is gonna go to Livid Silver. She says, you guys probably already read this comment. She says, oh, it's a long one. She says, pardon the language, but colic is a crapshoot. The digestive system of a horse is just very poorly, it's just very poorly designed when it comes down to it. So colic is terrifyingly common and it can, and it can turn quickly. There are some things that can make colic more common, but it can also happen for no reason. I don't think any of your practices would indicate an increased likelihood of colic. A change in weather itself doesn't increase colic. However, if she wasn't drinking, that would be the more likely cause, and she was, is not drinking. I assume that it is all resolved now. It's not. Um, colic is not something to muck around with. We lost a friend's pony just recently to a horrible bout of colic. Originally, he wasn't horrible to look at, just like Fiona, or just like, just like Sabrina. Um, but he had no interest in eating or drinking, no gut sounds, and was becoming pretty shocky. Uh, Fiona has really. Er, uh, Sabrina has really good gut sounds, or she has okay good gut sounds, and she's lively today, super lively. He did pass some manure, but he deteriorated quickly even after extra pain meds and fluid therapy. At that point, you can either opt for surgery and hope it can be resolved that way, or euthanasia. And for most people, surgery is simply not an option. Hopefully, Sabrina came through her colic with minimal dramas and it doesn't happen again. A colic is not something I would wish on anybody. I did hear the vet mention a flow murmur, which I assume he was referring to a murmur in her heart. If so, it is likely to be an issue. It is unlikely to be an issue, causes them. So uh, basically, I'm just, it's a long comment, so I'm just gonna say about the heart, mo the flow murmur. He uh, basically said that usually when a, ha a horse is um, dehydrated like Sabrina was, that that can cause that, and that's just um, probably an issue that, that he felt that that was what the, the reason was. 
um, and she says that I thought I'd share what I know in case it was relevant and a lot of what she said was really relevant and really um, made a lot of sense to me today and I thank you so much Livid Silver for your comment I just keep having de deja vu like I read that before to you guys wow that's it for today um please send me mail I'm so stable my name is Julian <coughs> Buddy Ball and my name's Haley Eagle Daughter. Yeah, you guys. She never checks her mail. Um, they, Sophia lives to play Star Stable with you guys. So if you're on there and they're on Chocolate Cupcake Server, um, and you can, and check them out or try and connect with them because they, and Sophia lives for that. Anyway, that is it for today. We're going to end today's video. Bye. And we'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm one year older. <laughs> Gabby. Just say. Oh, someone's just inviting me into group. Bye! Bye! See you later, guys. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.